there and welcome back to today's video and our channel where we will explore an essential topic. So today guys we are going to talk about menu licensing guest list in HubSpot CRM from the front end. So if you're interested and I hope that you are interested, let's without losing time move forward to our tutorial. So for that, first we need to get our API keys. That's why we're going to log in into our HubSpot CRM account and go to our settings section. Here, guys, you can find at the left sidebar our integrations and other it, we have API key. We need to go to our this section and here you can see go to private app button. We need to click on that in order to create a new private app. So here, as you can see, we have create a private app button, we're going to um, click on that. Okay, we have here our app name. This is just a random name. We can generate another one and we need to here give a brief description to our app. So let's give a brief description to our app. For example, an interactive app for everyone. So this was basically our basic info that we can see guys right from here. And now we're going to our scopes. Uh, here we can find our CRM. We're going to tick on the box whether we want to, them to be like read or write. So let's click on them. And also click on create app in order to create our app. So here it will provide us our API key so okay this is it our token and we're going to click on here show token in order to copy it so let's copy it and now we're going to our event dashboard at the front end and under the event dashboard here we can find our hubspot crm settings so we are going to pass our token right here let's pass it right now Okay, this is it. And now we're going to click on save settings in order to save our HubSpot CRM settings. Okay, after saving your settings, your screen must look like this. Here, first, we need to select audience list type. We have various list types. We'll go this time with contact details. Then, guys, we need to set contact owner. As you can see, I have already set mine. So then we need to choose create module record or create an update module record. I will go with the first one in order to create a new module record. Then we need to select HubSpot CRM since type. We have two since types, auto and manual. We'll go with manual this time. And then we need to here click on save settings in order to save our changes. Okay, guys. At the bottom, let's go ahead and at the bottom, we have guest list matches attribute and the guest list field, as you see, we have guest name and guest email and the HubSpot CRM field, we have first name and email. So the left-handed side field show you all the fields that you have generated from guest list field and the right-handed side fields are the fields that are associated with HubSpot CRM field. Now we're going to create a guest, but before creating a guest, we need to create a group. So that's why we need to go to our left sidebar and go to our guest list section. So under it, on the sub menu, we can find our add group button through which we're going to create our group. So first we need to set a group name. Let's go with VIP. Then we need to enter a group description. Let's enter our group description. I wanted to select an event for which we are creating our group. Let's go with social media marketing, then select field. So let's go with guest name and guest email. Then we need to click on save group in order to create our group. So our group is saved successfully. Now we're going to create our guest. That's why we need to go back to our left sidebar and on the guest list section, we need to click on add guest button in order to create our guest. So. Here we need to select an event for which we are going to create our guest. It will be our social media marketing. Then we need to select the group that we have created together and the guest name. So let's say the guest name, for example, Nora, and we need to provide our guest email as well. So this is our guest email. And then guys, we are going to click on save guest button. 
in order to finish our creating. So our guest list has been submitted successfully. Now we are going to again back to our left sidebar and on the HubSpot CRM, you can find our since guest section. We need to go there. And from here, we need to find our guest. It was Nora, as you know. So let's tick on the box and click on since. So on the HubSpot CRM since you can see that it is written subscribed. Now we're going to our HubSpot CRM section. Let's refresh our section. Okay, so here we can see that our data has been synced in HubSpot CRM. So this is it. So my dears, this was it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you will have any questions concerning to our video or our product, you are free to ask them in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like our videos and also hit the notification bell. See you in the next tutorial.